Okay, for this, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at our music. All right, I think we went with late night radio. I think that was the one that we went with, right? So I'm going to double click on that. All right. Yep. That's our late night radio. All right. So that's our music. Um, what we want to do for this, all right, is we have to uh, create new audio. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to, uh, I believe that it's Composer. Nope, I'm wrong. I want to go to uh, Timeline. I'm going to go to New and then I'm going to create a new audio track. All right. For this, again, I'm going to use double mono. Rather than just creating a stereo track, I find it much easier to work with dual mono. So I'm going to create one new track, and then I am going to create a new mono track. All right. And then I'm going to move my monitors down to uh, A3 and A4. So A1, actually A1 should be here, and A2 should be here. So A1 is going to correspond with A3, and then A2 is going to correspond with A4. So we've got our music here. And again, I'm going to bring it up by 12 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then I'm going to mark in, and then I'm just going to go to the very, very end, all right? And then I'm going to bring it back by 12 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then I'm going to mark out. So I marked in. Let me try that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you can tell that I advanced it by 12 frames because with these triangles here, these triangles are telling you that's the beginning of your mark in. All right. And then going back to the very end, bringing it back by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is the end, which is indicated by the triangle saying that this is where you marked out. So there are 12 frames going that way, and then going to the very beginning, there are 12 frames that are going that way. All right. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Look, 12. There we go. And that tells you where you marked in. The other thing I want to show you really quick is you'll see like the, uh, it looks like IL. IL is telling you that is the very beginning of the clip, and also towards the very end, you'll see uh, backwards L or J-I. <laughs> so yeah, we could do that. J-I and then, you know, I-L. All right. But in this particular case, J-I is going to tell you that this is the absolute end of the clip. And then when we get to the triangles again, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There you go that tells you that's where you marked out. All right. So again, we have the audio that's here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this into. Uh, yeah, we're going to drag this into. Yeah, we don't need a five. There we go. Right to the beginning of our clip. All right. And, and it just seems to go on and on and on because we have a uh, extended play. All right. So this looks kind of weird and the reason why this looks kind of weird is because everything has now been contracted in order to compensate for the audio that we brought in so you could use the scale bar down here if you want to be as accurate as you possibly can you could use the scale bar to make things really really small and then you move it all the way to the left and that will give you uh, basically an extended view of everything that is in your timeline okay 
So again, I hope that you found this helpful. And I think the next thing that we're going to do is uh, introducing you to the splice in as opposed to the overwrite. And then we'll also deal with transitions.